Hi there, and welcome to Apple World. Apparently, Nicki Minaj might have endeavored to make us aware of Diddy Obscure's presence two years preceding the deluge of claims that have happened. And it is accepted that Nicki is very much informed about her previous Meek Mill Factory's contribution with Diddy. However, there have forever been bits of hearsay, including Diddy and Meek things as of late took an emotional turn when Diddy's previous maker Rodney Jones documented a claim guaranteeing that Diddy had been running AR Endeavor and had personal connections with R&B vocalists and well-known rappers, including Usher and Meek Mill answered the claim by bantering with bloggers and fans on the web, yet he didn't totally disprove the cases presented in the defense. You would be generally mindful of his new frenzy online where he posted stuff like I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass molly, no one will much proposition me coke since I'm that weighty. No man or whatever might at any point move toward me about gay action, and the entire spot doesn't get flipped awakened seeing this on each blog like they realize I'm coming. Haha, <laughs> despite the fact that what fans likewise saw was that Meek Mill was enjoying a tweet referring to the video where he twisted around in the pool with Diddy calling him daddy, the post is subtitled. Meek Mill cools his cakes after the entire evening of drinking spree. Obviously, he might have been effectively hacked, yet taking into account that it was around the time he was having a frenzy on X, previously known as Twitter, it appears to be a bit dodgy in the event that you're asking me. In the meantime, fans are drawing examinations between Nike Minaj's circumstances and Cassie after a video of her surfaced in which she seemed to suggest Meek Mill was supposedly being hush. What's more? Nikki had recently indicated that Meek Mill was putting hands on her anyway. How much did Nikki have some familiarity with Diddy's implied relationship with Tame? We should look into it. Do you believe there's a ton of covert siblings in the business? Gracious goodness? So far, we have barely any familiarity with undercovers. God help us. We have close to zero insight into that. Okay, cuz, I do for some setting on the circumstance on Monday, February 26th. B. Diddy's previous maker, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, documented a claim against the vocalist, blaming him with a number of serious offenses, including enrolling simple young people to deal with drugs out of his Miami chateau and utilizing his indicated associations with the police to cover his tracks, among other things. Jones blamed a few notable figures in the music business for partaking in Diddy's implied violations as well as naming Diddy as the respondent. As per Jones, he has endless long stretches of video and sound accounts showing Mr. Brushes, his representatives, and his guests taking part in critical unlawful exercises. This is where the compliant plant viewpoint comes in, while a portion of the names in the claim have been redacted. Jones gave fans sufficient data to reason that two of these individuals are docile and usher, despite the fact that they aren't recorded as respondents. The redacted names and characters may likewise be derived from the commentaries by taking a gander at the references. The principal name of the rapper, whose name is redacted, depicts him as a rapper from Philadelphia who dated Nicki Minaj, and the note about the ERB vocalist from the States makes reference to the fact that she performed at the Super Bowl and had a fruitful Vegas residency. Normally, individuals immediately derive that this was about Meek Mill and from the data given online. Okay, so Meek Factory was named in the records of someone who had relations with Diddy or an individual from Philadelphia that dated Nicki Minaj. Perhaps therefore MC Factory generally has exasperated tweets. Each time I see a bothered tweet from MC Plant, I'm going to resemble, okay. He was at Daddy's home. They were over here saying Meek Mill Factory was Daddy's child. It tosses MEC Factory on everything, each remixing each tune with Kid or Rick Ross and each talk. I don't think this is valid because MC Factory is too clearly stated. You all realize that someone would have heard something from me. Plant, it's crazy how, over the past couple of months, how many new claims and embarrassments have come out encompassing Diddy. Unquestionably, it's inevitable before this person gets secured. Diddy is carrying everybody down with him calling another man. Daddy is insane. Sincerely, I feel like attendant was a casualty all the more. However, presently, docile, that is an alternate story, as you are without a doubt mindful. Meek Mill and Usher have been the subject of various whimsical tales concerning their relationship with Diddy. For Usher's situation, these reports began with his confirmation that he shared a home at Puffy Flavor Camp with Diddy when he was initially beginning, and I resided with Sean Puffy C.S. for a year. That is an insane thing now. 
That was La Reed's thought. Right. We're sending you over to something many refer to as Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go to learn Flavor Camp. That is what it was called. And you will go to Puff Daddy's, where he's going during the 90s app. Do you comprehend what that resembles? Puffy's place was like just loaded up with chicks and oaring like constant right. No, not actually. I mean, except for saying hello. It was interested. I definitely got an opportunity to see a few things, yet you 13 were seeing them. I went there to see the way of life, and I saw it, and it was, nevertheless, I couldn't say whether I could enjoy and comprehend what I was in any event. Seeing what befuddles me the most from this, how could his folks permit him to move in with a Hollywood star in a house at the age of only 14? Even trying to say it now before we go any further into the video, what are your folks' genuine considerations on this whole circumstance? Do you think both Mild Plant and Usher had an excursion going back years with Diddy? Or are individuals getting a handle on the straw remark down underneath during his visit to club? Shea Usher discussed his visit to Buffy Flavor Camp again. Anyway, it seemed as though he was cautiously choosing his words, and fans couldn't resist the opportunity to see his uncomfortable disposition. I assume, I think, um, I don't figure I would be the craftsman that I am today without the encounters that I had in New York City. One simply being where I would need to change right. I didn't have the solace of home. I'm in New York City, and they were, you know, done and sunning me to death. Brother and I resembled, yelled, I don't know what you're talking about. You understand what I'm talking about. We have to go here. You understand what I'm talking about. And they were like giggling at me because I, I was Southern and they resembled New York. His manner of speaking and his apprehensive jerking are numerous things that fans got on with with his post, like the absence of eye-to-eye -eye connection and, what's more, his uneasy disposition. Let me know all that I had to realize he gets apprehensive simply discussing puff beginnings, playing like an apprehensive youngster flashbacks. Usher is so strategic in his reactions. Haha. <laughs> that sibling's media preparation runs profound. Strangely, Usher guaranteed on the Howard Harsh show that he could never allow his children to go to puffy flavor camp. However, he later told Shannon Sharp that it was one of the most outstanding encounters truly in regards to Meek Mill. A video of him loosening up in the pool with Diddy praising and alluding to him as Daddy has got everybody talking there. What's up, Lord Child? Man, you're doing it. Man, you merit it. Daddy, you're investing that energy. An image of easygoing and Diddy wearing indistinguishable garments returned, which filled much more bits of hearsay to be clear. The genuine issue here isn't what resigned and Diddy like in the room. Rather, Rodney Jones' claim guarantees that Diddy was running a criminal venture and that his supposed assistants were enrolling youngsters in report. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.